Hey, what's going on? This is Peter here and a few of my friends have asked me to share some of my Google Chrome web browser extensions. So I use a couple of really handy Google Chrome browser extensions to help me become more productive in, in my daily activities. So today I'm going to share with you one of those uh, extensions and it's called Awesome Screenshots. So if you take a lot of screenshots in, especially while you're browsing the internet, then this one could be very helpful for you. So let's go and check it out. All right, so let's just jump straight on this Let's open up a web browser. You can either do a search on Google for awesome screenshot and it should come up with this particular link here. Awesome screenshot, screen capture, annotate Chrome. You can click that, but I'll leave the link to this, to go straight to this page to Google Chrome's web store. So you don't have to really do a search. Once you've loaded this particular page, you'll have a different blue button from memory. Just click this little blue button to add this extension to your Chrome browser. And this is what it's going to look like, uh, this one here. All right, so let's say I've already added this to my Chrome browser. I spend a lot of time on Udemy, which is a place where you can enroll for different courses online. Let's say, for instance, I'm interested in sharing a screenshot of this whole page. So what I would do is I'd go to my awesome screenshot button. I can select capture entire page and that will capture the whole page. Watch what's happening. All right, it's still capturing and then boom, it brings up a new page. You can scroll down to see what it has captured. It's captured quite a lot. And from here I can do lots of cool things like I can actually highlight something. So for instance, if I'm sending this to a friend, I can either go, hey, check this out, highlight it like that. If I made a mistake, I can click on this to go, oops, made a mistake. If I want to create an arrow, I can just say, check out this, this one here, and then click on this and just type. This is what I mean, right? And what else can you do? You can you can highlight with a rectangle, so I can scroll down and go, okay, this is the one, look at this one. And what else can I do? I can paint, I can do a blur. Oh, look at this, I can blur something out. So if I don't want to share a particular thing, like for instance, say for example, this section here, it could be you know something that's sensitive, then I can just instantly do that. What else can I do? I can highlight some text, yeah straight enough and I can change the color of all these arrows and text and everything I can you know basically decide yeah I want a purple one and I'm going to paint uh, no I'm going to do another one rectangle over here purple rectangle and if I'm finished with everything I can basically click on done and it converts it into an image like this now if you have a Google account you can actually click on uh, connect your Google account to this particular extension and you can save these images straight onto your Google Drive. If you don't have that, you can always save it by clicking on this button here, or you can save it to your clipboard, or you can print it directly. So let's say, for instance, I decide to save this on my computer. I click this, and then it'll come up with another dialog box to say, where would you like to save it? Give it a file name, and then it's saved on your computer. And from there, you can attach it to your email or, you know, do whatever you want. Let's just close this, and we'll give you another example of instead of creating a screenshot of this whole page, what if I just want to create a screenshot of a small section? If I want to do a screenshot of a selected area, click that, and now it's giving me this little crosshair, as you can see, the crosshair. I can select just this one. All right, and if I'm happy, if I'm not completely happy with the dimensions, I might say, no, I want these two. I can change the dimensions of the selected area, and when I'm happy about it, click capture and there you go it's just captured that po that portion of the selected screen area so then I, from here again i can do everything the same i can change the color of my highlights i can even put an arrow oops the arrow is the wrong way so i'll click on re read undo and then just go like this and i'll add a bit of text here look it's on special there you go boom and I can change the font if I want and do a whole bunch of really cool things. So, and if I screw up royally, I can always click this and it undoes 
yeah, it clears everything. All right, so if you click on this thing here, it clears everything, you can start again. So there you have it. It's a really handy extension that I use almost every day because I'm always taking screenshots of my screen and sharing it to friends or, you know, clients to teach them, to give them some um, reference to something I'm talking about. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you enjoyed this type of video where I share productivity tools, particularly around if you're spending a lot of time online, then let me know. I'll be um, releasing a few more videos just like like this to help business owners, entrepreneurs to really uh, maximize their time while they're online, work smart, work efficient. You know, I've got a motto when it comes to working on computers and that's let your computers and technology work for you, not the other way around. So if you've enjoyed this, then give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave your question in the comment below. And uh, yeah, as always, together we are better.